Hello, today we're going to be showing you how to connect up the Apple TV second generation uh, of TTV and actually installing and going through the installation guide. It really is very simple guys, but I thought I'd run through it for you anyway. So the first thing we need to do is we need to obviously connect it all up. I've got it plugged in. Uh, on the back there's a HDMI uh, slot, a optical audio slot and an Ethernet uh, slot. So you can hardwire this up to the internet and myself I'm, I'm actually going to be using it as Wi-Fi because you can actually connect this via Wi-Fi. So. so we're going to connect in our HDMI cable, turn on our TV. Uh, I've already got the HDMI cable plugged in into the back of the TV and I'm going to plug in the Apple TV. Now you need to go to the channel on your TV to where you connected your HDMI cable. In my case it's HDMI 2 and my TV is actually automatically gone to that channel for me so that's nice of it. Now once you do plug it in you get this Apple logo come up right here. So. Uh, you know that your device has been plugged in. There is also a light uh, blinking on the device itself. The screen will go black for a few minutes then you get the, uh, the welcome screen. Now the Apple TV is a really good device. It's, uh, it's like a little entertainment box where, where you can uh, watch your purchases like you purchased on, uh, on iTunes, so that's your movies and your videos and uh, music and so on and all that sort of stuff and then you've also got stuff like Netflix so you can rent movies on Netflix and there's just loads and loads of different things you can do with this uh, I'll give you a quick uh, few on some of the uh, like applications that uh, you get when you actually go and install this you see like screens just full of applications of different things it really is a brilliant device Right then, so here is your welcome to Apple TV screen. This is the first screen you'll see. And now we just basically go through the menus and set it up, which we will take a closer look at now at doing. Right then, here we've got the close up uh, guide. So now we just basically go through the instructions and do as it asks, basically. So select your language, or well, I'm going to be selecting English. Uh, a Wi Fi network, it comes up. Uh, to connect to the internet, choose your Wi Fi network or connect using an Ethernet cable. So you have got the options here. So I can scroll down and search which one I want to connect to. Uh, I'm going to connect to that one. Here you enter in the password to your Wi Fi. And again, you just use the remote control that comes with the Apple TV and you just select your password. So I'll be entering that right now. So once you're entering your password, you just basically hit submit and it will come up connecting. So give it a few minutes for all that to connect up. Uh, you will go to activating and now it's going through all the different activation stuff. Now you'll come up uh, about to uh, help Apple improve its products by using support by having your Apple TV automatically send information. So that's entirely up to you if you want to go to OK or no thanks. Um, so you select your option and you just give it a few minutes again. Your TV will go blank as you can see but not to worry. You soon have this come up on screen and then you at your home page. See how easy and simple that was guys? There you have it. Now this is your home screen, like I said you've got Netflix, you've got Vimeo, you've got Photostream, you've got radio, you've got YouTube, uh, if you're into sports you've got NBA and the LB, LMB, <laughs> and uh, movies, TV shows, your music and your computers. So these top uh, ones here is basically your movies is what you purchased, right? So you can watch like what you purchased on your iTunes. So if I go to purchased, uh, you need to enter in your Apple ID, uh, which I'll do right now. Now it asks for the password. So I'm going to enter in my password. So once you've entered in your password, you get this screen. Do you want it to remember it? Totally up to you what you want to select. 
uh, once you select I selection, it goes on to accessing the iTunes store. And there we go, now it shows you purchase films. So these are the films I've actually purchased. So I could select any one of them and actually watch the movie. And if I press menu, it gives me the menu so I can actually go to top films, wish list, and so on. So I could go to top films and select any film I like. Uh, let's have a look. See what there is. Oh, so we just select Greece. So there we go. So I select that. And now it gives me the options to preview it. I could rent it. And I can actually buy it. So you can do all that off the Apple TV itself. So if we go back to the uh, menu again. So I've just pressed the menu button twice. I can go to TV shows. So, go to TV shows, comes up a menu, so it's exactly the same thing as the movies. I can rent, buy and preview. I can go to purchases. These are the ones I've purchased. Uh, if I go back, same thing, if I go to music, uh, here you can play like, uh, the music that you purchased on, on the iTunes store. So, you can see like what, what tunes we've got. Select the album, so we could go to album, select whatever, and just basically press OK and we'll play it. So you got all the options too, and you got like the home share on your computer if you want to go through and set that up. That is how you connect up and set up the Apple TV second generation.